Hello, welcome to this lecture on the course on modeling analysis and estimation of three phase unbalanced power network. In the last lecture, we have discussed the uh, derivation of the impedance matrix of a composite transmission network, which has also undergone the action of transposition. So, in this lecture, we are going to look at one numerical example demonstrating the use of those equations. So, the example what we are going to consider is essentially the same on transpose transmis transmission line we have considered earlier. Just for a quick reference that we have considered one untransposed transmission line with this configuration we had got say this was the configuration. So, phase A, phase B, phase C and then this is the ground. So, this distance was 45 feet and this was 10 feet, this was also 10 feet and then there was a ground conductor, this was a ground conductor, this was 15 feet. So, this was the line we have considered and in that also we have given the values of the resistances and all that and we had considered that this total length of the line is 40 mile, 40 mile that we have considered that the total length of the line is 40 mile that we have earlier considered 40 mile and we have and also the um, and also in the earlier example the values of different resistances and etc etc everything was given. So, with that we have found that the values of Z A A is equal to Z B B is equal to Z C C was given by we have calculated these values and we have shown that this was 0 0.3733 plus J 1.4594 omega per mile and we have also shown that ZAB is equal to ZBC is equal to ZAB would be so this this was phase A, this was phase B, this was phase C. So obviously ZAB would be is equal to ZBC because their distances are same. So ZAB is equal to ZBC and that was found out to be 0 0.0953 plus J uh, 0.6833 omega per mile and ZAC was found out to be 0 0.0953 plus J uh, 0.5992 omega per mile. So, this was, uh, so these values we have already calculated in our last example. So, so uh, please do again refer to that example in case you do not at all remember these values. Now, in that example what we said that e, now this line was length of 40. So, there was no transposition. So, phase A was simply going like this, phase B was simply going like this, phase C was go simply going like this. So, this was phase A this was phase B, this was phase C and this was position 1, position 2, position 3. So, then therefore, in that case we did not consider any kind of transposed line. So, then therefore, after so then therefore, after that what we did. So, then therefore, with this I can say that this is also equal to now because there was no transposed line. So, then therefore, I can also say that these values are also equal to uh, this is also equal to I can say 
that uh, this is also equal to z11 is equal to z22 is equal to z33 right and this also i can say that this is P is equal to Z A is equal to Z B B is equal to Z C C, right? And Z A B is equal to Z B C, and because A and B was taking the positions one and two, and B and C was taking position two and three, so I can say that this was also Z one two is equal to Z two three, right? This is the position, and Z A C. Conductor A and uh, C, they have taken the positions 1 and 2 continuously. So, then therefore, they, they are also Z equal to 1, 3. Anyway. Now, for the 40 mile length, so for 40 mile line, the Z ABC matrix was, I am just again writing this for ready reference because we will be actually needing these values in, in this lecture itself. So, it is better to write it again. So, it is better to write it again Z A B C. It was given by 14.932 plus J 58.376 then it is 3.812 plus j 27.332 and then it was 3.812 plus j 23.000 968 and then of course this is also equal to this because it is symmetric so it is j 27.332 the diagonal elements are equal 14.932 plus j 58.376 and this was 3.812 plus j 27.332 z a b would be is equal to z b c ok fine no problem and then of course it would be 3.812 plus j 23.968 and then it would be 3.812 plus j 27.332 and 14.932 plus j. So, this we have already calculated. So, I am just simply writing it for our ready reference in this lecture itself. So, this we have already calculated. Now, what we are considering this that this 40 mile line is now being transposed in three sections S1, S2 and S3 and the length. So, transposition now. So, now we are considering transposition and we are considering now that the length of S1 is 8 mile, length of S2 is 12 mile and length of S3 is 20 mile. So, now we are considering. So, this was for 40 mile lines. So, this was for untransposed line for original. on transposed line right so this was for original unposed line now we are considering that my transposition is 
in this fashion 8, 12 and 20. So, then therefore, how so then what would be the impedance matrices. So, then for basically what we have to do is that it is very easy now we have already got these values z a z b b z c c and z a b z b c and z a c and we have already got these values z 1 2 z 2 3 and z 3 3 z 1 2 z 2 3 and z 1 3 and then z 1 1 z 2 2 z 3 3. So, we have also already got these values. So, now if I use these values please note that these values are nothing but omega per mile. So, then therefore, for section A we have to multiply these values by a factor 8. For section 2 we have to multiply these values with a factor of 12 and for section 3 we have to multiply these values with a factor of 20. And if we do multiply these values, so then what we will get is of this following results. So, for section 1, for section 1, the matrix Z123 is given by 2.986. Plus J eleven point six seven five, then it is point seven six two plus J five point four six six. Please do cross check these values by doing calculation using a simple calculator and point seven six two plus J. 4.794. Then of course, this is 0 0.762 plus J 5.466 and 2.986 plus J 11.675. And then this is 0 0.762 plus j 5.466 then of course this is 0.762 plus j 4.794 then 0.762 plus j 5.466 and the third one is 2.986 plus J 11.675. Right. So, this is for S1. For S2, the matrix is denoted as Z231. So, this if we use those formula what we have already derived in the last class then and then if we do these calculations we will find that our calculations become 4.479 plus j 17.513 then 1.143 plus J eight point one nine nine and then one point one four three plus J eight point one nine nine and of course this is one point one four three plus J eight point one nine nine then four point of course four seven nine plus J seventeen point five one three and then one point one four three plus J seven point one nine zero and then it would be uh, 1.143 
प्लस जे एट पॉइंट वन नाइन नाइन वन पॉइंट वन फोर थ्री प्लस जे सेवन पॉइंट वन नाइन जीरो एंड फोर पॉइंट फोर सेवन नाइन प्लस जे सेवेंटीन पॉइंट फाइव वन थ्री सो दिस वुड बी द मैट्रिक्स so for example how do i calculate this matrix for example this would be nothing but z22 into s2 s2 is 12 right this would be z23 into s2 this would be z21 into s2 and then similarly right so this would be z32 into s2 because this two are basically symmetrical so all these diagonal elements are symmetrical and so on and so forth and s3 is basically the matrix is z312 and then if i do use the formula and um use the formula then we get this following value 7.466 plus j Twenty nine point one nine eight eight. Then one point nine zero six plus J eleven point nine eight three. Then one point nine zero six plus J thirteen point six six six. Then one point nine zero six plus J eleven point nine eight three. Then diagonal elements are always seven seven point four six six plus J twenty nine point one eight eight. And then one point nine zero six plus J thirteen point Six six six. Then it would be one point nine zero six plus J thirteen point six six six. Then it is also one point nine zero six plus J thirteen point one. Sorry, six six six. And then it is seven point seven four. Four six six seven point four six six plus J twenty nine point one eight eight. So this is the three matrices. So now what would be the final matrix? So the final ZABC matrix will be nothing but the addition of this plus this plus this, right? So it will be basically nothing but the addition of these three impedance matrices. Uh, if we add these three impedance matrices, so we find that the final ZABC matrix is this. So final Z. That would be equal to fourteen point nine three two plus J fifty eight point three seven six, then three point eight one two plus J twenty five point six five. This is three point eight one two plus J twenty six point six five nine twenty six point six five nine
and then of course it will be 3.812 plus j 25.650 14.932 plus j 58.376 and then 3.812 plus j 26.323 and then last is 3.812 plus j 26.659 3.812 plus j 26.323 and 14.932 plus j 58.376 so this is the final ZABC matrix. So this is the final ZABC matrix of the transposed line, right? And, and this is the original untransposed line. So now let us compare their corresponding values. So if I look at the diagonal elements, this is 14.932 plus 58.376. This is also 14.932 plus J 58.376. So then therefore diagonal elements are identically same. This has to be because we have already proved that this diagonal elements would be nothing but S into ZS, where ZS is nothing but equal to Z11 is equal to Z22 is equal to Z33, right? So this is the total impedance values. So, they have to be same and that is what indeed is also being proved. But what is interesting is that for this untransposed line, the maximum difference between the, let us write, maximum difference between or rather among the non-diagonal terms, I should write the among the that is is equal to 27.332 that is is equal to 27.332 minus 23.968 right this is basically 3.364 ohm right so this is from here so this is from maximum difference So, this is for 40 mile line. So, this is ZABC. And also, you see, let us look at also the uh, real part of all the off diagonal terms. If we look at the real part of all the off diagonal terms and compare it with the values of a transposed line, we find that the real parts are also identically same. Now, these real parts sh should be identically same because these real parts, if we do remember the expressions of the non-diagonal terms, we can see that the essentially the non-diagonal terms is uh, sorry, essentially the real part of the non-diagonal terms only involves Rd that is the ground resistance and basically so then therefore the real part of the non-diagonal terms will only involve the ground resistance. So then therefore this value would be always same for the transposed line as well as untransposed line, right? And in the case of untransposed line, 
the maximum difference among the non diagonal terms is 27.332 and you see this one and this one right 27.332 and 23.968 so this is the maximum difference what is the corresponding maximum difference in the case of a transpose transmission line in the case of a transpose transmission line the maximum difference i can write down the maximum difference among the non diagonal terms that is equal to you see this is only between this and this 26.659 minus 25.650 so it is 26. Point 659 minus 25.650. So, that turns out to be 1.009. So, you see when there is a transposition, the difference among the off diagonal terms reduces. So, that means the, so then therefore, that means the um, performance of the line becomes more and more balanced right it is actually almost three times so it was earlier 3.364 and then here it is just one ohm so then therefore it is actually more than three times this particular amount of difference has reduced and please note here this transposition of the line is also not equal transposition right it is basically case of an unequal length of transposition. So, this is a case of unequal length of transposition. So, this is unequal length of transposition in a sense that where S1 is not equal to S2 is not equal to S3, right. So, even with an unequal length of this transposition, the difference among the non-diagonal terms reduces substantially thereby making the operation of the three phase transmission line more or more towards the balanced operation right so this shows the benefit of transposition that essentially transposition helps us to improve the or rather to let's say the to improve the balanced operation or rather we should say that this action of transposition actually helps us to operate the transmission line in more and more balanced manner, right. So, this example should demonstrate this. So, with this example, we uh, stop this lecture and from the next lecture onwards, we will start looking into the other aspects of this topic. Thank you.